Welcome to the Lee Etzler Show, a weekly wrap-up and analysis of Cherubusco High School football. Daddy, Don Hyatt. Hi, I'm Don Hyatt. Welcome to the Answer Show. This week we'll talk about Chair Busco's 18-14 victory over Culver Academy to improve the record to 7-0. Um, also, we'll talk about the upcoming game against Fairfield. Later, we'll be joined by senior Adam Bogus. Stick around. We'll be right back after this. I lost my job and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. Hey football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up to the minute pregame, halftime and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County. BuscoNews.com and the Chair of Busco News. Uh, welcome back. We're here with Coach Etzler. Uh, Coach, uh, very good win for you on Friday night. Yeah, I think uh, we got out of that game what we wanted to get out of that game. Uh, we, we played a tough opponent, and uh, it was a close football game. Uh, they're, they're coached extremely well. Uh, they forced us into some things uh, offensively and defensively that that made us a little bit uncomfortable, which is a good thing. Uh, so it, it was nice to, to play in a tight football game, nice to play in a game that lasted uh, 48 minutes, and uh, nice to come away with the victory. Uh, you got the early score with the touchdown pass to Bogus, and they answered right back. But then you got uh, two more scores in the second quarter, 18 to 7 lead at the half. Yeah, we, uh, you know, I guess probably the disappointing thing, you know, we had the three long plays that resulted in our three scores would have liked to have seen us offensively move the ball a little more consistently than what we did. Uh, you know, at times we didn't move the ball very well. Uh, you know, some of that's to be expected. They're, they're a good football team. Uh, but we, we threw a touchdown pass, uh, got open. Uh, you know, uh, it was nice to see uh, Alex hit. Uh, Bogus and nice to see Bogus get a touchdown. It was a, a, an important situation in the game for us. Uh, you know, uh, Jason Nicodemus uh, long touchdown run. There was some good blocking in front of in front of that, and uh, then uh, Lefever had another long touchdown run. So, you know, those were three pretty important plays. Would have liked to have seen us uh, move the ball a little more consistently, but uh, those those three were definitely nice. Um, second half, uh, field conditions were getting pretty poor, and then the rain at halftime didn't help with any. Uh, you figure that factored into your second half uh, difficulties? It, you know, it's it's always a little more uh, difficult. You know, when 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 conditions get poor, though, uh, we see that as just a, a test of our mental toughness. And you know, if we have troubles because of you know the weather, then uh, you know it's more trouble with our you know things we need to correct mentally. One of, one of our issues, we want our kids to learn throughout the game, uh, and, and I thought uh, quite a few times Friday night at different positions, uh, we were doing the same things wrong, uh, you know, blocking, for instance, uh, and, and would like to have seen us do a little better job of, of correcting our angles, correcting our pad level, correcting uh, which side we have our head on when we're blocking an individual rather than doing the same things incorrectly uh, uh, throughout the game. So. Uh, 
good game for us to get better. We saw some things we need to work on. Played hard. Uh, we're not where we need to be yet, though. Uh, on defense, I mean, there's a lot of hard hits out there. Um, you had a couple of interceptions and a key fumble recovery there at the end, stopping our drive. Yeah, again, and it was a lot, defensively, it was a lot the same as offense. We played hard for 48 minutes, uh, but saw some things, you know, especially their drive that opened up the uh, third quarter. They went down uh, the length of the field, and, and, and right now I don't know how many plays it was, but uh, we had, I think Coach Doc counted up 23 missed, it was 11 plays, 23 missed tackles in 11 plays. So uh, we, we got into a stretch where, you know, just like offensively, we want to, we want to correct ourselves mentally when we're not doing the right thing. If we're taking angles to get to the football and, and we don't make it one time, well, we need to take a better angle the next time. Or if we're attacking an offensive lineman as a, as a defensive lineman, if we're attacking an offensive lineman one way and uh, in, in not being successful, we want to correct, uh, we want to put, put ourselves in a position to be successful. So those types of things are, are things that we need to get better at. Uh, a little bit about uh, Josh Lefevre on defense with uh, 13 total tackles. Yeah, he, he uh, we were extremely concerned going into the week. He did not practice, uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of last week and had a back issue and uh, we're concerned about not having him and, and, and really concerned about our chances of competing with, with uh, Culver had we not had him. Uh, he played uh, Friday night. Uh, I don't know if he left the field at all on offense or defense, and I, I don't think he, maybe he stepped off the field for a few plays on defense, so he's basically out there the whole time. Uh, quite a few tackles, he's all over the field, quite a few big hits. Uh, you know, really, really, I thought, showed his importance to our football team uh, last Friday. Uh, Coach, we're going to be joined by uh, Adam Boggess here shortly. Uh, a few words about him and his career here at Busco. Yeah, he's, he's another one, uh, one of our few seniors. Uh, uh, another one who's done done an outstanding job. Uh, you know, started now for two years, and and he, he plays a, a ton both on offense and defensive side of the ball. And uh, you know, he's he's definitely he's another one where you know if we didn't have him, what would we do at, at certain positions? And I, I don't have the answer to that. So uh, very valuable to our football team. We'll be right back after this to talk with senior Adam Bogus. I'm Austin Couch, and you're watching The Lee Esler Show. I lost my job, and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, given the help that they need. Hey football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up to the minute pregame, halftime and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County, BuscoNews.com, and the Chair of Busco News. Uh, welcome back. We're uh, here with senior Adam Bogus. Uh, Adam, you had a pretty good game there Friday with a, you had a touchdown and an interception. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a rough game. It, and, uh, you know, getting the touchdown right off the bat, it was pretty exciting. I was pretty excited about it. And, uh, then an interception to close the game was pretty fun. Um, you've got three catches this year, all of them for touchdowns. Uh, maybe the coach ought to throw to you a little bit more. <laughs> Might be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just something for him to think about. <laughs> uh, Madam, you're a three-sport athlete, along with football. You wrestle in wintertime, and you got baseball in the spring. Yeah, I do. It's a lot of – it's really busy. And uh, – you know, last year in wrestling, I went to a semi-state, so a lot of my hard work paid off. And, uh, you know, my freshman, sophomore year, I was a regional qualifier. And so I'm looking forward to going as far as I can this year, hopefully state. And baseball is, I played freshman and sophomore year, but then I had my knee injury. 
so I didn't play last year. Uh, Adam, you got uh, four years of football in. What's it been like uh, playing for Coach Etzler and Coach Doc on defense? It's been really great. You know, they're they're rough coaches, but they you they make you do your work, and uh, as long as you do what you're told, you're fine. But you know, it's really paid off what they've taught me and stuff. And as long as you just listen, you'll do fine. I think with how they coach, so they're pretty good. Uh, looking to the future, you got any plans on going to the college anywhere? Or? Yeah, I'm looking to go to college for engineering mostly. Possibly, I want to go to Purdue. Uh, Sports-wise, don't know yet. I'd like to. It just depends on time and everything. We'd like to thank Adam Bogus for stopping by and talking with us today. We wish him well throughout the rest of the season. And we'll be right back with Coach Esler to talk about the upcoming game against Fairfield. This is Adam Bogus, and you're watching the Lee Etzer Show. I lost my job and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. Hey football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up to the minute pregame, halftime and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County. BuscoNews.com and the chair of Busco News. Welcome back. We're here with Coach to talk about the uh, upcoming game with Fairfield this week. Uh, Coach, uh, Fairfield's been a thorn in your side for the last what, five years. Yeah, they've they've uh, and, and we talked to our kids about that. We have not beaten them since uh, 2005, and and you know, boy, over the last uh, quite a few years, we've had uh, some real good football games uh, that were played. Uh, you know, been been very frustrating not being able to get them. Uh, you know, we we look forward to this game uh, each year, and we know they do the same. Uh, and, and and also, there's different sports. You know, whether it's basketball, wrestling, track. Uh, uh, you know, there is a little bit of a rivalry where we look forward to playing them. They look forward to playing us. Um, also, coach, uh, you've started seven and zero the last four seasons. This is your fifth season. First chance in Busco history to start out the season eight zero. Yeah, and, and that would be that would be a nice thing, you know. This group of kids, uh, we lost some pretty talented football players from a very successful team last year, and uh, you know that would be a nice thing for this group of kids to kind of identify themselves with as something uh, that no other team has done. Uh, you know, the stronger motivation, you know, the coaching staff, and I know the kids will not be thinking about. You know, we want to be 8-0 uh, at the end of this week. We want to be Fairfield for the first time since uh, 2005. So, and we want to put ourselves in position to uh, to uh, win a conference championship outright. So, uh, the 8-0 thing would be real nice. Uh, uh, we want to be fair, Fairfield pretty bad. I'd like to thank Coach Hetzer for stopping by and talking with us today. We wish him good luck against Fairfield this week. And you can catch the show every Thursday night on BuscoNews.com. I'm Don Hyatt, and we'll catch you later. This has been the Lee Etzler Show, brought to you every Thursday night at 7.30 by BuscoNews.com.